So this is an unboxing of the BenQ digital projector. It is the TH683 and it's a 1080p. First projector, no, second projector we've had. We tried out one of the, there are loads of cheap um, under hundred pound projectors on Amazon. We tried out one of them, the uh, Elifas. Uh, didn't really get on with it at all. It was quite inconsistent, mainly in connecting with the different devices we needed or through AirPlay. Uh, wouldn't work properly with Apple TV or Netflix, etc. etc. So, this is a significant upgrade on that, and uh, let's see how we get on. Right, so here we go. Unboxing. is the uh, DVD instructions with the physical instructions. You get an, an RGB connector for your PC. And one unit. It's really well packed. This is coming from Amazon via a UK supplier. Box Limited, based in Sutton Coalfield. They seem to be pretty well priced. In the end, I went for this TH683 BenQ because of its ratings on places like the wire cutter um, 1080p, and BenQ is a, one of the quality brands. I have dabbled with a, an Elifast cheaper, much cheaper projector off Amazon. Sent it back, it was very unreliable, poor consistency of connections. Couldn't use it with the uh, uh, too many uh, third party apps, but also the resolution and the light brightness wasn't very good at all. So, this is significantly better. Three and a half thousand lumens, I believe. So, let's have a look at the main units. The other items you get included are where you get a European two pin connector, main lead, two AAA batteries for the handset. There's the handset. functional um, the UK 240 volt mains lead and you also get the RGB connector for your PC. So let's have a quick look the main item. Yeah, these are obviously not mini projectors, they're <coughs> home theatre style. BenQ TH683 and we've got a mounting for the tripod which is what we're going to use it on. Most people will ceiling mount these but uh, I want to be able to use it between various locations including the outside and the motorhome. So on the back we have Mainly connect uh, two HDMI ports, which is useful. There's your PC connection. There's an RS232, not sure what that does. Some video, um, more traditional video connections there, view and audio. You can link it up to headphone and to uh, an external speaker. And it's also got two types of USB A and Mini B. That is a Kensington lock, which means you can secure it, I believe. And um, the top you've got a duplication of some of the remote controls. And uh, you have both a zoom function and a focus. So, let's get it set up. Um, we're going to be using uh, just one of the walls in this lounge. It's a plain wall and we've got the projector on a tabletop. With uh, the distance, what's that about? Five meters away, I suppose. No, less than that. Three to four meters. Um, uh, let's see how we get on. It's middle of the afternoon on a winter's day, so there's not a huge amount of light outside, but it's uh, some light, some significant light. Um, what we're going to do is we've got an Apple TV that we're going to link up. 
via the HDMI cable. Um, so the Apple TV is just one of the uh, HDMI type casting services you can use. You can also use the Amazon Fire Stick or um, the Chromecast, the Roku. Um, but I'm going to try it with the Apple TV. This is the 1080p one, not the 4K. So we've got two HDMI ports. We're going to pop it into HDMI 1. Um, so that's that connected. And then uh, it's got its own built-in audio, this projector. But uh, And it's pretty, it's reasonable. I'll, I'll show a comparison later. But I'm going to connect it to um, a hi-fi system via a... Uh, what do we want? We want audio out. All we need now is the mains lead attached. Now the first time you turn on the projector there's a wizard that comes on to enable you to set things up. Uh, we're going to use the remote control just to switch him on. The remote lights up red when it's been operated. We can see the power button is now flashing and it takes a few seconds to warm up the lamp I think. Uh, before it comes on. The other thing we need to do is to select the source. So that's the Apple TV landing page and um, <clears throat> we can do some adjustments to the screen itself um, using the handset. Uh, as I say, the first time you turn it on you'll get some a wizard to guide you through. Um, in terms of the uh, source, what we selected here was HDMI 1 but you can see the HDMI 2 PC component video. So we're on HDMI 1, use the back button on the handset to work between. The other things you get within the menu is you can select the picture mode and uh, on the picture settings. This one is set to football, but you've also got football bright, which is for when you're showing um, during daytime in a very bright environment. You've got cinema, you've got game. And you've got various user settings as well. So we'll stick on football and um, we'll back out of that. Um, on the handset you've got um, keystone. So here you can actually reset the keystone by pressing back for two seconds or pressing OK to enable auto restone. So we'll press OK for two seconds. Um, that has now auto set the vertical keystone. You can see from this picture that we're not quite horizontal with the uh, picture frame in the room and the top of the radiator as you can see so that adjustment we would make uh, by adjusting the legs on the bottom of the projector so we need to come slightly down on the right hand side. That's pretty level now. Okay so we're back out and uh, now let's have a look and see what the TV pictures come out like. Um, so all of the apps are now available including things like iPlayer, ITV Hub, Channel 4. We also got Amazon Prime Video and uh, Disney, My5, Netflix and um, YouTube. So if we go on to the iPlayer, I think there's some live football on at the moment. Um, one of the problems you get with the cheaper projectors is that they are very flaky around connecting to um, some of these apps, um, whereas this so far uh, has been really good. So if we go on the home channel, go up on the channels. Yeah, there's FA Cup football on now. And we'll watch that live. Tip it into this adapter and then connect to the an iPad or an iPhone using lightning. So not messing around at this stage of the game. So again that's via the iPad. And quality. Quality again. Pretty damn good. Day right. Especially at this stage of the game, probably technical, including any time. Oh, extra time. Maybe beyond that as well. And here's Andy Williams. May in the middle, as that's there as well. It's in towards May. Oh, just taken away from him. 